right, let me introduce myself. My name is Sandy Kaltenborn, and I'm a graphic designer, and I live in Berlin, Germany. I'm running a graphic design studio, or have been running a graphic design studio for the last 10 years with my partner, Pierre Matt. And it's a very small studio. It's just two people and some interns sometimes. And we mainly work in social, political, and cultural fields. Of course, from the perspective of a graphic designer coming to such a festival, uh, what is the most important visual uh, piece which uh, we are confronted with? For me, it is the program, actually, and the corporate design or the design, the identity of this festival. So I'm kind of like thrown back on the image politics which I find uh, in this program. So I open up the booklet, and it has this beautiful vase. And on the back side, we have the vase broken, the flowers falling on the floor. And my spontaneous first reaction was, I really like that, for a very simple reason. Uh, what do these two images tell us? They actually don't say more that here's a problem. Yeah? So something is altogether okay and something is broken. So something happened in between. There is some conflict if you want so. And I personally find problems as a way of relating to each other, to negotiate these problems and to get into dialogue. Uh, as the exhibition is called, uh, which is taking place uh, of the Artstream Festival, uh, it's called Love. So you can imagine that the flower, as all together, is standing for love. And the broken flowers might be an illustration for conflict. So of course it can be also the other way around. You see the, and of course the other way around, uh, we can see this as, an, as a symbol for love because I care about this relationship and here goes the flowers on the ground, right? I really like that simple visual concept of this program. If you open the little booklet, uh, it gets me a little bit disappointed because what we have here is a simple black and white uh, color politics. So if you want so, I'm not saying this, I'm just suggesting uh, or telling, sharing my reading. Uh, white is good, it's love, and Black is bad. So from an anti-racist perspective, this is a very problematic uh, color politics we have here. And I was confused because I was like, for me, quantity is something which would be related to mainstream, mass. And uh, so the, the odd things are on the edges, and they think, actually, they will be dragged into the center eventually, but they are usually very marginal. So I find odd stream, odd, and to uh, advertise with the amount, some kind of contradiction. You could uh, think about what is this. It's on one side, of course, representation of music styles and images which are put out either by the artist or by their uh, label. Uh, on the other hand, if you flip through the music section, uh, you will find out that it's approximately 90% men. So these are also all concepts of uh, masculinity, if, uh, if you want to. So like contemporary concepts of uh, masculinity in the music business. I was just asked if I can give a comment on uh, the festival and what inspires me of, on Artstream Festival. And I have to say, at this, at this point, mainly the workshop of Mimifest we've been in and the variety or wide range of people uh, participating in the workshop, it's uh, always something very inspiring to get different perspectives. That's very banal, but it's still very beautiful. Um, another thing which is a kind of like more interests me is uh, this uh, big place we are located in, uh, this big old construction industry hall, which will be eventually in the next years being transformed in some kind of cultural center. And we talked to the organizer of uh, Artstream Festival, and he was explaining a little bit the changes will occur afterwards. So what's happening here is that with the help of culture or cultural production, something, uh, some investment is being done. And it's basically an investment into city marketing, uh, if you want so. And city marketing itself, I find, is a highly problematic thing. But breaking it down to the space here, uh, my question actually would be, how does this space look next year? And who are the people who left and who are the people who came? So I think it would be very interesting over the next few uh, art stream festivals to have some kind of overview uh, what happened in the last years. And I think it would be very valuable to show the video material from the years before next year. So the audience next year can see what was going on last year. And yeah, I really appreciate uh, the chance to uh, have these two words uh, to you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Here I am at the morning session of the Inspiration Day and uh, I was asked to find some inspirational stuff. So I'm just gonna turn this around and uh, look at Mr. Sandy Caltonborn who's just given us a little talk on his perspectives on, on design and other things. 
And uh, yeah, this has definitely been the most inspiring moments of my time here so far in Oddstream. Um, not just Sandy, but also Jason Grant, who spoke earlier. And uh, it's been an amazing festival, and this is it. <laughs> so, yes. Thanks, Sandy. That's a great new camera. It is, eh? Pretty inspiring. <laughs> is that good?